All right, all right. I'll do it. I can't believe I'm actually doing this. I'm covering Rock and Roll's punching bag. And no, I'm not talking about Kid Rock or Fred Durst. Hi people and hello my Chili Con Carnage crew, it's Chili here from 5 Minute Reviews and on this episode we're going to go over Nickelback's newest album, Get Rollin'. Damn, I feel shame for saying that sentence. Nickelback are the target for a lot of hate, which I don't entirely agree with, but I'm not against either, so let's get some things clear first. I don't mind a little bit of Nickelback. I thought Hero was a pretty decent song, and How You Remind Me is okay but their music is very generic and formulaic. I think we can all agree a day we don't hear Photograph is a good day. It was flogged to death on radios and in memes, so I never want to see the image I can hear in my mind. Now, according to iTunes, in the lead up to this album, bassist Nick Kroger, wait, Kroger? Oh dear, he has a brother. Well, anyway, Nick wanted to do a cover album of Slayer songs. Now, to some that sounds absolutely horrifying, but I'm curious to hear how that would have turned out. I feel now is a good time to mention that Nickelback first went by the name Village Idiot, which sounds fitting, but they were a covers band back in the 90s. I just don't think, though, that Chad can nail the vocals of Tom Araya, though. I mean, he's got a very punchable face and voice to go along with that. I'm not sure what it is, but I've never liked his vocal style. Back to the point, and this album is going to be heavier, and you know what? This opener song, San Quentin, is heavy! I mean, that's pretty damn heavy! It's a shame it lasted all of 10 seconds before it becomes a generic sound. No, wait, I used that word before. Okay, Google, generic, and thesaurus, and bookmark. You know, for a second there, you had me fooled. I thought maybe this album had a chance to change my opinion on the band, and show a side I didn't think was possible. But, alas, my surprise was quickly subdued. High Time sees the band venture into electronic country territory with the start of a lighter clicking over and coughing on loop. But Sabbath did that intro and much better. Vegas Bomb is your standard Chad Rock with an extensive coverage of which wears thin very quickly. Does Heaven Even Know You're Missing is a classic mid-album power ballad piece. It preaches all the typical elements of the style and doesn't change any of the formula. Nothing to add to this song. Of course Nickelback isn't for me. They just are on a different wavelength and if you enjoy them, well, good for you. I like Limp Bizkit, so I know the hate people give to you, but while I love Limp Bizkit's tunes, I'll admit they can be corny as hell, and not for everyone. So just remember this is just my opinion on this, and it doesn't really matter at the end. While this is all said and done, I'm not too proud to admit that there were moments that stood out and weren't too bad really. It is a heavier record than I thought, ignoring the ballads and acoustic tracks and country tunes of course, so I'll give them that. But no riffs really stood out, and it feels a little like a complacent record. A record that does what Nick wanted to do with the heavier tracks, while still covering the broad gauge sound of Nickelback's pop rock sound. I'm definitely not won over by this record, but the band have earned a little bit of respect from me. Overall, I would rate this album at 300,000 chilies on the spicy scale, with no songs really being a standout as I can't recall any. Nickelback and all their music still sound rather ubiquitous to me. I played some other songs from their back catalogue from this decade, and I couldn't really tell any apart in style or sound. At this point of their career, I would contemplate if they have resorted to making carbon copies of their own musical catalogue rather than the general rock scene as they have done so in the past, but I can't be bothered to go in depth and analyse such minute nuances. At the end of the day, I don't like Nickelback's music, and I doubt anything they release in the future will change my mind. It's all too commonplace for me, so I'll just end this episode here and say, if you have enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe to us, we are a small and upcoming channel. So, thank you very much, 
everyone you have a great day and stay spicy Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Live Listen Erased. And if you have enjoyed this episode, make sure you share it with all your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our Chili Con Carnage crew so you can get notified for all the future videos that we put out, as we put out videos every Friday. Also, we are on Discord, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter over at Live Listen Erased, so make sure to tune in over there. And don't forget to like this video so that our manager can stay very happy.